Welcome back to another video. I am transplanting my volunteer tomatoes out of my pepper patch here. If you remember from my last video, I had several in this area. I have taken them and put them in these bigger pots. So that way my peppers have room to grow. These I have saved over the years. Uh, so how we're going to do this is grab your little spade and we're going to go around in a circle around the base of the plant. Go about three inches around the sides. Once you've done that, just pull up and your plant comes out, which you can grab underneath. You can see the nice root system. Tomatoes are very resilient and they can take this type of stress. So we're going to take some existing dirt, put it in our pot at the bottom. Grab our plant, put it in the pot, and then backfill with existing soil. And that'll work out just fine. Take care of this hole. Just bring in soil from around the area. Pack it in and you're all done. I'm doing this to make room for my pepper plants. They were starting to get a little crowded. I didn't like the way it looked. I like things to be a little more uniform, other than flowers. I don't care where the flowers go. Got my marigold. So the reason I'm doing that also is because I have a tomato plant that is, as you can see, these tomatoes have flowers. my what is this called it's a Mr. Stripey tomato Mr. Stripey hillbilly or big rainbow tomato it's only putting out these one flowers. They're not even opened up yet. And these are supposed to be 16 to 21 ounce tomatoes. And there's no flowers on them at all. So we're going to keep an eye on that one. To see if we get any more flower clusters. I'm going to give it about three more weeks, and if I don't see anything that I like, I'm going to pull it out. Unfortunately, that does happen on heirloom seeds. I'm not sure why. Maybe you can look it up and you can leave it in the comments on why it does happen. It just produces leaves and that's it. So, <clears throat> if it doesn't work out, then we have our backups.
Uh, that's all for today. Thank you very much.